Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course, where you will learn how to design steel structures in RAM Elements Connect Edition. In this video, we're going to be focusing on performing the steel design and reviewing the results both on screen and through the design reports. We will now turn our attention back to our sample model, which is ready to be designed. To invoke the design, we're going to go to the Process tab in the ribbon. Now we're going to notice from the status bar down below that the analysis has already been completed, which is a necessary step to perform prior to starting the design. When you're ready to start the design, we're going to come back to the ribbon and click the Design All icon. As a note, this icon is also available in the Quick Access Toolbar. To perform the design, we first need to select the steel design code that we're going to be using. Today for the hot rolled sections, we're going to use the AISC 10 LRFD code. Now it's very important to make sure that the load combinations that you generated are in accordance to the proper design code that you're selecting here. In addition to that, we do have some cold formed members, so we're going to select the AISI 12 LRFD. Now below that we have a few uh, additional options that we're going to select. I have an option to include the slenderness recommendations. I can use the MBMA Special Consideration, which is Design Guide 25, and I'm also going to include torsional design. If this model also contains some reinforced concrete members and wood members, I can select those codes at this point. Once you're ready to perform your design, you're going to click on the Design button in the Design dialog to start the process. After the design is completed, we're going to take a look down here at our status bar and take a look to see if there are any warnings or errors that were discovered during the design. Here we can see that 62 steel members were designed according to the AISC 360, and then I have 18 cold formed steel members. I have no warnings or errors, so it's pretty safe to go ahead and start reviewing my results. We're going to start by reviewing our design results on screen. So to do that, we're going to go to the View tab in the ribbon, and we're going to find our design window, which is where the different pieces of our design will be available to be viewed. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at the status of my model, which will let me know if any members passed, which members failed, and if any members passed but have some warnings that were reported. To do that, I'm going to go and click on my status icon. Now as I select my status icon, I'm going to also notice that there's a pull down menu here and I'm going to make sure it says for the controlling load combination. Without this option selected, it'll give you the information based on the currently selected load condition in the pull down menu. And what I'm looking for is overall did this pass or fail. So on my screen, I can see a variety of color coded members. Anything in red means that it had an error in design or basically it failed. Yellow means it passed but it has some warnings, and then green means it passed all code checks and there's no issues with the design. If you would like to filter on the results, I can come over to the design status window and if I wanted to click the green check mark, it'll go ahead and turn on everything that passed and the red X turns on everything that failed. I can just fence around the whole window to select everything again. So this will give me a good idea. It looks like I have some members that passed, some that failed, and some that might need um, some more information or some extra checks performed on them. In addition to the design status, I can also review the stress ratio, which will give me a good idea about how close to that limit am I coming for those failing members. To do that, I'm going to come up here and select my stress ratio icon. Now I have a few options that I can select here and I'm going to select first of all for the controlling combination. Again, I want to know the worst case scenario. And then I'm going to select a unitary stress ratio which will basically give you the stress ratio based on from 0 to 1.0, 1.0 being 
um, the threshold for pass or fail. Now anything in red that's past that pink or fuchsia color would be considered a failing member. And I can see very clearly they've been color coded to let me know what their interaction ratios are. Now once I've reviewed some of this information on screen, I can also go ahead and review it in reports. So right now, I am going to go to the Home tab in my ribbon and select All Elements. Now whenever you want to print any report, what it will do is it will include the, those items that are currently selected in that report. So if you would like to filter on a particular members, you can just select those first before accessing that report. For my report, I would like to include everything in it. So I'm going to go select all, then I'm going to go to the output tab in my ribbon and find my design icon and I'll find my steel design option. Now for our steel check results, steel code check results, I have a few different options. For my first report, I'm going to group my members based on description which will basically categorize them in groups and give me the member within each description category that's controlling the design of the group. So I'll go ahead and say group by description. I'm going to select all design load combinations and then we will click OK. Now within this report I'm going to see a few key pieces of information. First of all, I'm going to see the description and the section that corresponds to each particular group. You can see my model has six different categories of members. I'm going to see which member um, gave you the highest interaction ratio for each group. I can see the controlling equation that produced the worst case scenario, or the worst case interaction ratio. We can see the interaction ratio and also the status for each design. And of course we see we have several here that are not passing the code check. Now while we're still in the steel design report, let's go ahead and take a look at the ribbon toolbar that's located at the top of the screen. If you're interested, you can go ahead and print this report and you can also save it as either a Microsoft Word format or a Microsoft Excel format, depending upon if you would like to perform any further manipulations. Let's go ahead and close out of this report. Now that gave me a good idea to see which groups are passing and which groups are failing, but perhaps I want a more detailed report on just my failing members. Well, let's go back to the view tab in the ribbon and let's go back to the status icon. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all of my failing members. So I'm gonna come over here and select all my members that are in red. Now I'm gonna go to my output tab in my ribbon select my design icon and go back to the steel area. Now instead of grouping by description, I want more of an individual output, a more comprehensive output. So I'm going to select the comprehensive item down here. Again, I'm going to select all design load combinations. You can see they're automatically selected for me. And then we'll go ahead and click OK. Now this report does have a bit more information to it, so it may take another minute or two to generate. Okay, our steel design report is available. And what we're going to find is we're gonna find a much more detailed output. So every single member that was selected when I invoked this report will be available now. And I can see a variety of pieces of information, including some of my input, information, my design criteria. Here you can check to make sure your unbraced lengths are correct. And then we can get into our design checks. RAM elements will select the axial tension design, the axial, axial compression, the flexural design, shear design, and also combined action. And it'll go ahead and provide you an indication of which checks of these passed and which ones are failing. Once you're done with this report, you can go ahead and click close. Now at this point, we're not quite done with our design. We have to go ahead and address the members that either had warnings or that produced an error in the design. So we have a couple different approaches we can take here. 
you could take a trial and error approach, which basically means that I'm going to go into the Members tab in the Data Panel, find my Sections area, and then I can manually change to different sections and reperform the analysis and design until I get a model that is passing all code checks. Or what I could do is then go ahead and ask RAM Elements to perform an optimization, which is what we are going to be doing in the next video. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.